Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about the Arctic and Antarctica and the weather and what we're doing. Um, there has been some wild weather occurring at the poles. Um, it's been overshadowed because of all of the other news. But in Antarctica, it's uh, 40 degrees above average. 40 degrees. For Americans, it's uh, 75-ish, somewhere in there, degrees above average. The Arctic is 30 degrees above average, or 50-ish above average. Um, It's substantial. It's a big deal. (laughs) The other thing that's really important to understand about this bizarre weather is that they're different seasons. They're on opposite ends and it, they should be doing different things. They both shouldn't be warm right now. Um, the The Arctic should be just now slowly coming out of winter. And Antarctica should be uh, kind of quickly cooling after after summer. But they're both warm. You you have melting in both places. That's it is uh, unprecedented. You know, it's a word that gets thrown around a lot, but they really the, there's no precedent for it. It's the right word here. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. You know, it talks about a whole bunch of uh, different things that become thresholds, and one of the problems is that as you cross each threshold as each thing happens it, some things are irreversible but more importantly it, it it snowballs for lack of a better term um, and it accelerates this is a sign that there's an issue a, a huge one it, as if we needed more all of the extreme weather that we've been having it it's all related to this um, now it is worth noting that there are a couple of uh, people who are really well versed in this field who are not climate change deniers who are saying this may just be a, a truly freak occurrence, but we have to watch it because if it happens, happens again, it's a really bad sign. Um, so this is something that we need to pay attention to. But aside from just paying attention to it, when are we going to make the switch? How long are we going to continue to use old, outdated tech and, and that's causing problems? Um, I can't think of a better time than right now to really make this push and sell it to the American people and to the world. The reliance on old technology, stuff that burns, right? It's a foreign policy issue. It's a defense issue. It's an economic issue. It's an environmental issue. And it's all coming together right now. This is the time for that bold moment, for somebody to step out and really sell it. Get out there and make the case that this has to happen and it has to happen now. The longer we wait, the worse it gets. Um... I don't know who in American politics has the ability to make that case because whoever it is, it's somebody that it's got to be somebody who can appeal to, to the Republican side of the aisle. You know, you have a lot of young, energetic people in the Democratic Party who can talk about this and talk about it from an informed place and they can make the case. The problem is, because the U.S. has become so polarized, the people that need convincing, they won't listen to them. We're looking for somebody in the Republican Party who can make this case. Or somebody new to politics who happens to run as a Republican that may have other ideas. That may work too, and it may be necessary at some point. Just saying. 
Um, because this this is one of those things we can't lose. Messing up here, getting this wrong, that's it. There, there is no do-over on this. And when you start reading these studies, even the optimistic ones say that we're going to experience impacts from it. We're going to have problems already, even if we start fixing everything now. We will still have issues. We will still have to deal with, with the effects of being bad stewards of the world. Of putting off a change that we knew we had to make. This, to me, given the current geopolitical situation, seems like the ideal time for somebody to make the case. When, when the average person is aware of some of these problems, they see how it's impacting the world. Because if you wait and you don't make the case now, we don't talk about it now, the American people have a pretty short attention span. We have to make the case and we got to do it soon. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.